now. Hey guys, and happy Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to come to you guys live today. If you've been following me on my stories or on my posts, you know that I've got a super exciting freebie giveaway that I am giving you guys today. Um, and so stay with me until the end and I will tell you exactly where you can find all of those freebies. Um, so if you are catching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching. If you're catching it live, go ahead and give me some emojis. Let me know that you're here. Um, it also lets me know that you can hear me just fine. So go ahead and give me some heart emojis and, um, that will really help me a lot. If you're catching this on the replay, go ahead and let me know if you're watching this on the replay. This also helps me kind of with some back end analytics. So I really, really appreciate it if you let me know whether you're watching it live or if you're watching on the replay. Okay, so we've got some emojis coming in. I think it kind of takes a while for it to get on my end. So I've got Instagram going and I've got Facebook growing. So if you have any questions about anything that I'm talking about, any ingredients that you've seen recently that you have questions about, go ahead and you can ask me any questions about them. If I haven't ever heard of that ingredient before, it's probably not a good thing. Um, but I will definitely do research about it and get back to you if you have a question about it. Um, yay, Megan, I'm so excited that you're here. Hey, Haley. Hey, Rachel. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're just now tuning in, just wanted to let you guys know I do have an exciting freebie for you guys. I am just like over the moon about this, and I wish it was something that I would have had when I was just starting out my um you know, my nutritional journey, but I have a free download for you guys. It's going to be a free five day carb cycling meal plan so that you guys can see what type of meals that we eat on the fast track to fit. And you're going to realize we eat real food and it's real good. So stay tuned to the end and I will share with you where to find that free download. If you find this valuable, go ahead and Hey Courtney, if you find this valuable, go ahead and share this because I think there are a lot of misconceptions about nutrition. I'm just trying to share as much as I can with as many people as I can. So I really appreciate it if you go ahead and share this. You can click the share button now or you can wait until the end as well. Um, so a few things that I want to talk about, as you know, with the Fast Track to Fit, we do carb cycling. And so the reason that we do this is because it is the most sustainable way of living and eating that you could possibly do to gain muscle and burn fat consecutively and consistently. So that's why we do the carb cycling with the fast track to fit. And so when you download the meal plan, you're going to see the way that we do the carb cycle, which I think is super exciting. Um, so a little bit, one of the things that I do with this free download is I've given you guys some tips for meal planning and I call it mastering your meal planning. And then I also gave you guys some ingredients that I typically look out for. It's not all of the ingredients, but it's a lot of ingredients that you can kind of start looking at your ingredient labels and just start looking for them. And I just want you guys to be a lot more aware. So, um, so that is also going to be included in the free download that you guys get. But one of the tips that I put in there is to, if you're, you, if you kind of get overwhelmed at the beginning of the week, trying to figure out, you know, how to plan all these meals without having to waste meals, because I know a lot of times meal planning, meal prepping, it can get expensive and you don't want to waste all of those meals. So I recommend planning to cook three to four dinners. I know that may sound a lot. If you are, if you would rather have leftovers for dinner, then go ahead and just plan for cooking two dinners and then having, you know, enough leftovers for two or three dinners as well during the weekdays. So the way that I recommend is um, for my ladies is cooking three to four dinners. And this is going to allow you to have some, yay, I love seeing all the emojis. Um, this is going to allow you to have some flexibility to use some of those leftovers for lunch. So you're really only, if you're a meal prepper, then you really only have to prep dinner and you can use a lot of those prepped meals for lunch. So just plan on cooking three to four dinners. And all of this is laid out for you in the free download that I'll give you guys at the end. Um, if you, um, a few other things that I put in there is ingredients that I want you to look out for. So if you watched my grocery haul last week, I talked to you guys about carrageenan and some things that it can do as far as inflammation in your body. There's studies that lead to that. And so I usually try and look for food that does not have carrageenan in it. If you missed my, um, last week's 
free download. I gave you guys my, all of my grocery staples. So some of the things that are on that list are not here today because they're staples and I already have them in my pantry because I got them last week. But if you want that, it's just Lindsay Renee Fitness forward slash forward slash grocery haul. So you can go and find that there and get a free download of all of my staples. Um, some other things that I like to look out for are MSG. So it may not, if you, a lot of us are familiar with MSG. Um, a lot of us have a lot of reactions to MSG as far as it um, creating that inflammation in our body, but it can also be in the form or be completely written out as monosodium glutamate. So it's actually, MSG is actually the acronym for monosodium glutamate. And you're going to find it in like Doritos, Cheetos, canned soups, like all the things. So that's another ingredient that I put on the freebie for you guys to look out for whenever you're going grocery shopping. A few others are high corn, um, high fructose corn syrup, and then any seed oils. So that's going to be like flax seed oil, soybean oil, um, sunflower oil. All of these oils are very high in omega-6s. And you really want a balanced ratio between omega-3s and omega-6s because if you have too high of omega-6s, it can cause inflammation in your body. It can lead to a lot of heart and cardiovascular diseases as well. And so you want to watch for those seed oils that are going to have the higher levels of omega-6. So just a few little things that you're going to get in the freebie. I feel like it's packed full of information, so be sure that you um, stay tuned to figure out where you can find that at. So now getting on to our grocery haul for this um, for this week. So there's a lot of different ways that you can modify it, but a few of the meals that we're going to be having is chili. It's a three bean spicy chili. Um, I actually made it two bean because I'm not a fan of kidney beans, so I just doubled one of the beans, which is an awesome way to modify it. Um, I, I'm also doing cabbage soup, which you guys, it may sound a little weird that I'm like loving cabbage soup, but it's like one of the best recipes in the Fast Track to Fit cookbook, and I am loving it for low carb day. Um, we're also going to be doing pork tenderloin. We also have a salmon and avocado salsa dish, but if you're not a salmon fan, you can also just substitute the salmon for chicken or another type of fish that you really like. It would also be really, really good with shrimp. So you can um, you can definitely, there's so many substitutes. If I have a kind of protein that you don't like in there, swap it out for, with something that you love. So I have, I know you can't really see, I know on Instagram you can see more of my groceries. You can't really see them as well on Facebook. But now I'm going to go through and share with you a few of the things that I got. So last week, as you know, I bought that turkey and it had carrageenan in it. And I was super bummed out because I wasn't able to read the labels before it arrived at my house. So I got this Applegate turkey. This is um, a deli meat. And Applegate has historically always put carrageenan in their meats. Or a lot of their meats, I would flip it over to always find carrageenan. This one is actually, it does not have carrageenan in it. And um, it's just the Applegate Naturals, no antibiotics ever, no nitrates, no um, nothing like that. So this has been, I just had it a little sandwich before I hopped on here, and it was so good. So I definitely recommend this as well. Um, some of the other meat that I got, I got this last week. You saw me, um, but I always get this grass-fed beef. If you're not accessible, if grass-fed beef is not accessible to you, that's perfectly fine. You can still get results not eating grass-fed stuff. It's just a matter of, you know, the type, the quality of the meat that you're eating. So grass-fed beef is going to be a little bit higher quality. It's going to have um, less antibiotics, less hormones, or no hormones than a lot of just like your regular grocery store meat. So all of this grocery haul is from HEB. It's my local grocery store here in Texas, um, which I think is pretty, I think it's native to Texas only. But I know that a lot of these ingredients are at, or food, it's at Kroger or um, some of the other place, Publix. I know you can get them there as well. So this is the grass-fed beef that I like. This is what I'm going to use for the cabbage soup. So again, remember, since we carb cycle, we are intentionally, we're doing an intentional variation of carbohydrates each day. So some days we're going to have high carb, and when you do high carb, you want low fat. So, and not like super low fat, like 30% of your total intake needs to be fat. When you flip-flop that and you do low carb, you want like 70% of your intake that day, 
fat. So that's when I recommend all of my clients having like your steaks, your red meats and things like that. And so that's why I chose to get the beef for um, low carb day and for that cabbage soup because that's going to be a low carb meal. So one of the biggest questions that I get is what types of quick snacks can I have on low carb day? So this is actually a, a snack that I would recommend on low carb day or high carb day and it's beef jerky. So it's actually Mike's, Mike's beef jerky and you have to be careful because sometimes beef jerky can be a lot, can be very high in fat. This is a very lean beef jerky. So if you like the beef flavor over the turkey, then I would definitely recommend getting the Mike's and this is HEB brand. So it might be a little bit tougher, but what I look for is a lower fat beef jerky because I always like to just go in the pantry really quick and grab something like if I'm, you know, making my first meal of the day or whatever and I can just snack on something. So I love all of these beef jerkies for quick grab and go snacks on either high carb day or low carb day. It does not matter. It's going to be packed full of protein, which is amazing. So I've got all those. Um, some other snacks, Let's just, we can just kind of go over the snacks first, but I love these pre-boiled eggs. Like, y'all, I cannot boil an egg to save the, my life. Like, I need to get one of those little contraptions that does it automatically, or I can just keep buying these pre-made, pre-boiled, pre-peeled eggs. And they're so good. You can pop these in your salads on low-carb days. You can just grab them, um, you know, quick and eat them. There's only three and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, and five grams of protein. So such a great snack. Grab two of them. I, sometimes I send these with Jordan in the morning for breakfast. And so they're so good to have just ready to go in your fridge. Um, let's see the other something else since we're on like the grab and go quick, um, quick um, meals. These little perfect fit meals. I think you can find them at several grocery stores, but they are perfect macros. All you have to do is take this little like label off, pop it in the microwave for like three minutes and you're good to go. So this one is chicken parmesan and then my other favorite is lemon pepper chicken. So if you are always traveling or if you're somewhere during the week where you're at school, I have lots of teachers, lots of nurses that are in the program. So these are perfect for you. You can break your fast with these. It's perfect macros for high carb day. I have not found a very good option for low carb day, um, but on high carb day, which is most of our days, because hey, we love carbs, these are perfect for you. So I actually found these, if you're familiar with HEB, I found them um, in the meat section like where all the pre-made food is and the ingredients on here are actually really, really good. So I definitely recommend these. Um, and let me see if I have any questions. Yeah. Some people are used, some people use freshly. The only thing with those um, pre-made meals that you can order is that sometimes um, they've got a lot of fat content in them and a lot of carb content in the same meal. And so you never want a high fat, high carb meal. Um, okay, so now since we're still on the quick grab and goes, I talk about these a lot, but I love these Quest Bars. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Our favorite flavors are the blueberry muffin flavor, and they, we've tried the vanilla almond crunch today. That was good. I had a client that said whatever comes with cashew was not good, so don't get the ones that have cashew, but these are really great for low carb or high carb, but if you do them on low carb, the net carbs end up being like four. So again, really quick grab and go. Sometimes I'll break my fast with these. If I'm like in the car, I always throw one in my purse so that if I'm somewhere where I can't break my fast with like a meal, then I can at least have a um, protein bar when I'm ready to break my fast because I'm ready. I want to start eating. Okay. So love the quest bars. These are always near like the protein bars. They're pretty cheap. So we always get like enough to have like two or three a day. Jordan will have one, I'll have one, so we like these. Um, so I'll get out to all of your questions at the very end. We can do like a Q&A section, but just wanted to get through all of these. Um, one of the other snacks that I like, and I put snacks on the meal plan as well, but I love these chocolate rice cakes, and I don't know about you guys, but anytime the time of the month comes around for me, I'm like, where's the chocolate? So. 
rather than you know grabbing a chocolate bar, a Snickers bar, or whatever, I will always go for these chocolate Quaker. They have little chocolate chips in them. They're gluten free. Sometimes I'll put some PB powder on here, um, but these are so so good, packed with tons of flavor and such a great snack. So any of the rice cakes are great options for snacks. The caramel ones are really good. I like to dip that in my protein shakes, and it's kind of like the end of an ice cream cone when like you know when all the ice cream comes to the bottom of the cone it's like the best bite you get that with every bite when you dip the rice cakes into your protein shake it's like life-changing so a little snack tidbit on that um okay so a few of the other things that i got one of the things that i always like to make sure that i have on hand are these really quick easy to make rice packets so if you've been following me for a while I'm like all about simplicity. If I can, especially during the week, during the weekends, we usually have the longer meal things where it like takes longer to cook and Jordan and I are like cooking together. But during the weekday, I'm like tired at the end of the day. I just wanna, you know, be able to get dinner done like on the fly. So I always recommend these little rice packets. So there's two different ones that I really, really love. So I love these Uncle Ben's options and then also the Seeds of Change. So you can actually get these at Costco in bulk and they're so good. So th these usually have a mixture of like basmati rice and quinoa, or brown rice and quinoa. So I just got the basmati brown rice this time and then also the um, jasmine rice for, um, you know, some quick carbs, you guys. There are... 52 grams of carbs in a serving of this. So for all my ladies who are not used to eating carbs just yet, go get you some Uncle Ben's white rice and you will hit your carb intake every single day. So I love those. Um, some other carbs that we're gonna be having this week with our pork tenderloin, I'm gonna air fry some of these little potatoes. I'll probably cut them in half. I'll um, you know, toss them in some olive oil. We have some chili and garlic infused olive oil that's delicious. And so I'll just toss these in there. I'll put them in my air fryer and they're ready in like 15 minutes. So that's my, that was one of my Christmas gifts and I'm loving it. So I'm going to get all the information about the air fryer out to you guys too. Um, some of the other things that I, I forgot to mention this Rebel drink last week and I got a lot of questions about it because it was in the little shot, but, um, the, I get these every single time I go to the grocery store. I have pretty much been able to find them almost at every grocery store now. Um, it's spelled R-E-B-B-L, and they're just packed with superfoods. So like maca, reishi, and those are you know superfood mushrooms that really help to stabilize your hormones and decrease anxiety, increase libido, um, all of those things. So this one actually has protein in it, and it's plant-based protein. So it doesn't give you the bloat that whey protein might give you. Um, and it's just packed with it. This is something that's really good on the go as well. So if I know I'm going to be in my car, I know I'm going to be somewhere where I'm not going to be able to eat a meal until like three o'clock. I'll take a rebel protein drink to break my fast with this. And I'll break my fast with this on low carb or high carb day. It does not matter to me. Um, I also like this for um, after I work out. If I, you know, work out, I'm ready to break my fast. This is really good to get that quick protein in as well. So um, they have so many flavors of this, but the chocolate is my favorite. I'm always craving chocolate, which means I'm probably low on magnesium all the time. But um, so just some quickly some other things. These are all ingredients that are going to go into the meals. And again, I gave you all the recipes for all the meals that were that are in the meal plan. So if you stay with me till the end. And I'm going to be sharing with you where you can find that. Um, one, a few of the other condiments that I like. Um, I really, really like the Primal Kitchen condiment. So this is the mayo. It's made with avocado oil. So remember, we're trying to stay away from seed oils. And a lot of them are made with like sunflower oil, canola oil, um, black seed oil, things like that. So we try and stay away from those. But this mayo is made with avocado oil, does not taste any different, and um, it's got such great, good quality ingredients for you guys. And then the Primal Kitchen dressing. So this is actually the Green Goddess dressing, but they have a Greek dressing, honey mustard, ranch. Um, so I was out and just decided to get the Green Goddess dressing this time, but it's so, so good. So you can usually find these at your grocery store in your dressing aisle. 
And these are all whole, um, whole 30 approved, paleo friendly, sugar free, dairy free, soy and canola free. So all the things that you could ever dream of in a dressing, it has. So um, those are all really great things. A couple of other things. So as you know, last week I mentioned that I've been gluten free since Thanksgiving. You do not have to be gluten free to see results on the fast track to fit or with anything, but gluten can cause a lot of inflammation in your body. So I have tried to decrease the gluten that I intake um, just because I've seen my mother-in-law go gluten-free and she actually completely reversed her Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease. So if that's something that you're struggling with, um, be sure to message me. It's something that I have a lot of experience with. Um, so I love these Simple Mills. Simple Mills is a brand that makes all gluten-free products and this is their brownie muffin cake mix. It is so good, you guys. I mean, there is all of the ingredients. It's just almond flour, coconut sugar, cacao, coconut flour, baking soda, and salt. That's it. And then, well, I guess, and then you add your butter. But this, these are so good. It's hubby approved. It's family approved. We had them over the holidays. So, so good. So these are at your local grocery store. So really good option for all my ladies on the Fast Track to Fit. And then um, this is the pasta that I love. It is chickpea pasta, so it's made out of chickpeas, and um, it is so good whenever you make it with like your um, your marinara sauce and all of that. So very very good and very high protein. This has 25 grams of protein, so it's not made with wheat. It is gluten free, and such a really really great option if you have celiacs or autoimmune disease or anything like that. This is a really great option for you. A few of the other things. So I love these little lettuce bowls, or I guess on the meal plan we're going to do BLT boats. And so we got the romaine, which I double check, there's no recall on romaine anymore, but I got the romaine to do the BLT boats in. Um, so these are really great. It's pre-washed. It's already cut. Um, so you can just, you know, make this really quickly for lunch. Put some bacon in there or just even like turkey, some little cherry tomatoes. I got my little cherry tomatoes, um, some mustard, and you are good to go and you've got lunch. So it's so perfect. And then I also like to get this butter lettuce just to put on sandwiches. Um, I got some, a regular tomato to cut so you can just, you know, have a really fresh sandwich with some lettuce and tomatoes and that turkey that's carrying and free. Um, so those are really, really great options. This is the bone broth that I got. Um, I usually like to eat bona fide bone broth, which is usually frozen in the freezer section. Of course, frozen stuff is in the freezer section. Um, but this is the Kettle and Fire brand. And this is a really good quality bone broth. So this is what I usually, if there's any type of recipe that I am making that calls for broth, I usually try to make it bone broth. So that's just because you're going to get that extra collagen. You're going to get that extra protein. You're also going to get those extra vitamins and minerals from the collagen, from the bones being, you know, boiled to make the broth. So if you can, if you're making soups, try and make it with bone broth just because you're going to get all of those extra vitamins and minerals that are so good for you. Okay. I talked to you guys a little bit about the, um, actually, I don't think I did talk to you guys about the almond milk that I get. So this actually says on it carrageenan free because a lot of your nut milks are going to have carrageenan in it. So it just, I think it just helps with the solidifying of it to help keep it liquid, preserve it. I don't know. I really don't know why they put it in there, but I always look for the almond milks that say carrageenan free. And this is my favorite brand. It's Califia. They had an eggnog over Christmas that was delicious, and I always get the vanilla. Even though I get the vanilla, there's still only four grams of carbs. There's fiber in here, and there's only three grams of sugar, so it's still a really great option, and I love putting this in my smoothies and all of that good stuff. I'll bake with this. It's, it's perfectly fine to bake with. And then last but not least, I've got some meats back here. I've just got some ground turkey that I'm going to be um, cooking. I just get the Jenny O ground turkey. Super simple. Um, and then a little snack to have with some of my sandwiches on high carb day. I've got the gluten-free Glatino pretzels. Really great ingredients. And I really like to have these to just kind of snack on during the week. So if you're still with me, thank you so much. Go ahead and give me some more emojis and hearts and everything like that. 
So remember, if you watched my grocery haul last week, or maybe you didn't watch my grocery haul last week, and you want to get the free download of my grocery haul staples, then you can go to lindsayreneefitness.com forward slash grocery haul. But today, for all of you that joined me today, I have a free five-day card cycling meal plan for, I love seeing all the emojis, yay, oh, Crystal, so glad you're still here, Ashley, hey, y'all, hey, Shauna, oh, I love seeing you guys, it's like my, my, um, counter is so deep that I'm like, I just want to see all of you guys. Um, okay. So if you want the free five day carb cycling meal plan with all the recipes, all the food, all the tips, all the ingredients, all the good stuff, then all you have to do, and I'll go ahead and I'll put them in the links below, um, for sure on Instagram or for sure on Facebook. And then on Instagram, I'll do a story with a swipe up as well. But for all of you that are catching this on the replay, it is going to be Lindsay Renee Fitness forward slash five, like the number, five day meal plan. So you can hop off right now if you want to and go grab it, but it is ready for you to download. And if you're um, joining us for the Fast Track to Fit that is kicking off tomorrow, we've got you all set up for success with that meal plan. This is exactly what I'm going to be using this entire week. And I'm hoping to be able to provide this for you guys as the weeks go on so that you know that exactly what I'm eating um, with the fast track to fit carb cycle. So again, if you want the download, if you want the free five day meal plan, there's no strings attached. It is, and you've got all the recipes, you've got all of the ingredients, you've got the grocery list, you've got my tips, um, for meal planning. And you've also got my, um, my ingredients to stay away from, to start staying away from. So you can find that at Lindsay Renee fitness forward slash five day meal plan. So if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I am going to go ahead and sign off here, but I'm going to spend the next few minutes as soon as I get off answering any of the questions that you might have. So love seeing you guys on here. And if this was valuable, again, please share it. If you know somebody that would find this valuable, please tag them in the comments below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday. And to all of my Fast Track to Fit babes starting tomorrow, I will see you at the gym. Bye, y'all.